Look where we're going with Before yum. you dive right into snacking, we've got some sweet tips to help spice up your Universal Yums adventure. Grab a pen. Do we get a pen? I kind of. Got an Turn up the tunes with this month's playlist in the QR code. Say cheese and brush up on your German. I don't know why. And there are nine new German words you can bad. learn hidden through the booklet. What's on the cover? Hansel und Gretel. We don't have cups this time. Oh no. We, we used the last one of the cups last time. Share Stracciatella bonbons. One of Germany's most famous chocolates. You're in for a whole new world of flavor, and by that we mean. Kugeln. What? K U G E L N. Kugeln. And by that we mean. Hmm. <laughs> Kugeln. A type of chocolate that translates to globe. While Kugeln oh, like are one of the this, most this popular this. types of chocolate, this one is extra special. For starters, it hails from Germany's oldest chocolate factory, Halloran, which opened all the way back in 1804. Biblical time. Secondly, it's by far the factory's most famous creation to date, cherished by sweet lovers all across the country. Third, its iconic spherical it. shape was designated to resemble the there. buttons on Let's local salt miners' jackets. And lastly, there's a lot of <gasps> details so for this. It's filled with decadent stracciatella, one of Germany's favorite flavors of gelato, filled with cream and chocolate cake. See, I knew I should be saying that word Italian. Mm. Bon, bon. That was a tasty button, but they did not plan out the flavor route for this at all. It's is lecker. Because we're about to go from sweet chocolatey gelato goodness to onion ring. Oh, we're doing that immediately? Immediately after. <laughs> Why would they do that? To there me? was no planning to this. Oh, this means we got no water cup either. <laughs> Oos! This is good. Yeah, I give that a good. Um, good yeah, I really liked it. Yeah, me too. Me too good me too. start. I don't know how I'm going to do an onion ring right after that, but we're going to. Yeah, I'm not out. excited to do that. Zweibel's onion rings to celebrate the, the Weimar's onion festival. Once October rolls around, there's one particular festival on everyone's mind. No, not Oktoberfest, you silly goose. <laughs> that happens in September. Oh, God. Idiot. We're talking about the Weimar Onion Festival, originating back in 1653 mm. as a way for locals to share their onions for winter. I think Germany's that's oldest folk festival, 157 years older than Oktoberfest. Today, over 300,000 mm. annual attendees stock up on fresh onions, relish, the famous onion pie, and watch the crowning of the Onion Queen. You are the Onion Queen. <laughs> We're keeping that one up there. All right, let me try one. Um, this seems like potent. I can smell so, it from here. So, you remember how we got that onion ring last time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This tastes better, mm -hmm. but it also feels stale. Yeah. I don't know if these European chips are just made like that, or if they got these earlier than they should have. I'm never gonna like an onion ring. It's always gonna be a, a frowny. Like, I, I almost pondered saying don't even bother giving it to me, but that's against the spirit of the the video. So I tried it, I didn't care it's for it. Kind of, if it didn't true. feel stale, I'd give it good, but it so -so? feels like it's just sitting out, so I'm gonna give it okay, I guess. Because the flavor is actually good. It's like a seasoned onion. I agree with that. They love ketchup chips over the there. The German snack for anyone who loves fries. Is any food combo as iconic as ketchup and fries? In Germany, yes. Ketchup fries and currywurst. Classic just... dish made by pouring a mix of curry oh my powder God. and ketchup over grilled German verse and palms was first made in 1949 Berlin. Now it's ubiquitous across all major cities, but none more than Berlin. Oh, it's even tradition for every mayoral candidate to have a photo op at a currywurst stand. That's Here funny. you'll taste the spicy ketchup and fries classic in an extra crispy snack. Even without the verse, this snack might just be Berlin's best. It, tastes, it smells like a bit. I mean, it looks like a veggie chip. No, I found the expiration on this one. Next year. These are supposed to be next year, but this one also feels like it's getting stale. Let me go ahead and do one more of these. Like, not as bad as the onion chip. The onion chip just straight up felt like it's been sitting for a year and a half. I don't know if I'd sit and eat the whole bag. It's okay. I, I definitely get it, like, going to a stand and getting something like that fresh, mm -hmm. where they were fresh cut yeah. potatoes and mm -hmm. just recently fried. That'd Having be really had awesome. other ketchup chips, this is not... Even yeah. close to the best one we've got. There wasn't a whole lot of good crunch on there. It might have sounded crunchy, but it, it just wasn't. It wasn't it satisfying. Was I feel deceived. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And for that reason, 
I'm in the middle. We got a ketchup chip last time. Too, we did. We, I think we've had a ketchup chip every time that I've been on. We're all saying okay? I'm going with okay on I'm that. going with just okay on that. Would have been Again, better fresh. We've had better ketchup chips, so this one had a lot to live up to. Crispy, crumbly, and go. oh so lemony. Who doesn't love a squeeze of lemon on their schnitzel or a citrusy kick in the sauerkraut? <laughs> kick in the sauerkraut is uh, our, our band name. I thought you were going to say that's hate speech. <laughs> <laughs> With all of the ways lemons are incorporated into their cuisine, you'd think Germany's lemon orchards would go on for miles. Yeah, except they actually don't grow natively at all, and you are a fool for thinking that. That's why Germany is the second biggest importer of the citrus of the citrus. Oh, I got it. In the, what the hell sentence is this? <laughs> importer of the citrus. Do they mean lemons or like all citrus in general? The citrus. Is the name Lemon of the is first the album citrus. for kicking the sauerkraut. Spending almost $375 million every year. And when you're making sweets like these crispy lemon wafers, we can understand why they're in such high demand. Everyone knows that the lemon makes a mighty fine pie. So I'm, I'm ready to give this a shot. Lemon parts. It's very lemon. Mm, yep. It came in at the end there. Mm -hmm. At first I was like, where is all the lemon? It was hiding. It's more sour than it is sweet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's not what I expected. But it's what I wanted. Yeah. I like how a good lemon pie is a little sour. Mm -hmm, mm. Mm -hmm. Nine out of ten. I love it. Me too. Yeah, that's good. I feel like it's been a while since we had a good wafer like that. Yeah, finally some good wafers. Well, next up we got milk and honey caramel. Oh, and something. it's not pronounced caramel. It's never going to be pronounced caramel. We got a young If you say caramel to me, we're done. Caramel. It's caramel. There's two A's. I always there. think of, um, I forgot his real name, uh, Count Dooku in <laughs> Willy Wonka. Then uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, Christopher, Christopher Lee. Lee. I was like, why did I forget his real name right as I was saying it? I always think of him listing off all the candies as he hates yeah. them. And he's like, caramel. Yep. I always think of that. Well, we got on October 3rd, 1990, they Germany's like separate states were reunited as a single country for the go. first time in 45 years. Oh, there wasn't one. Which is why every year, people all over the country celebrate October 3rd as Unity Day. Parades, concert, and fireworks make it easy to get in the spirit of unity. But what if we told you that there was an excellent way to celebrate right now? If you think the answer is these milk and honey caramels, then you'd be correct. They're a delicious onion of creamy milk and sticky honey in an ultra soft caramel. Oh, it's one of these, okay. It's that... a lot softer than I thought it would be. Well, I'm always throwing off. I always think it's going to be like the really chewy caramels, but then yeah. it ends up being the soft ones. When I saw you just bite it right in half, I, I knew that there was hope. That's straight up honey in there. Mm -hmm. The other thing I don't like about these uh, kinds of candies is that like coating feeling. It feels like a certain Oh yeah, like that extra layer of sugar. On my throat. The throat coat. Because it gives it like a little throat burn thing going on because of the way Wait, it's layering. Onion queen, your onion's about to fall. Oh! I got a weird answer on this one, and it's that... <laughs> Stuff with honey, like that amount of honey, reminds me of soap. Really? So I kind of just feel like I ate a little bit of soap. Is there like a specific soap that makes you think that? Probably. Is there a specific memory that makes you think that? No, you just can't you can figure what it is. You can blame my wife because she always gets these real fruity or candy flavored uh, scented soaps. Oh yeah, y'all were talking about the how she ruined yeah, cherry for you. Yeah, with the black cherry. Uh, one time we had a black cherry soap and then I had a black cherry flavored soda and it just was like, oh, I just drank soap. I can't do this. <laughs> so same kind of vibe with that one. So for that, it's a thumbs down for me. Mm -hmm. If it were a slightly less honey-ish, I think I would have gone all the way up to I like it. Flavor wise, I like this. Because I love caramel. It was okay. That throat feeling does bother me. Yeah. But I like the Just way it tickle tastes. Your little so throat good. To get it out. Yeah, I would put up with it because. Do we get the whole range on that one? Yeah. Nice. That's what it seems like. We don't normally have that. We don't. We normally are a lot more in agreement. If there's one thing to learn from Hansel und Gretel, it's that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover or a house by its cake walls. Never trust a cake house. We didn't even get all flavors. No, flavor. I was saying, we didn't even Nobody get all four flavors. Grape. Sure, the sparkling sugar windows might seem super kawaii, oh, great. but we all what know the this? witch on the other side was, well, oh. erm, not super awesome. She didn't deserve Reddit gold. Keep that in mind with this yum. It may look as no, I'm not. I can't. I can't do that. Uh, it may look plain as you unwrap one, but chew. You can have this one too. But yourself. one chew will reveal a succulent burst 
of apple, passion fruit, black currant, and grapefruit. Oh, that's the one we didn't get. A much, much, much better surprise than an evil witch. Would you like to start this one think? off for us? No, I'm just going to try this one right here on but my But this own. was apple. I'm fine, thanks. I'm, I'm having the passion fruit all to myself. Who thought this was the way to do this candy? Yeah, this like, is look like... At this. this should not have been an individually wrapped thing. It's just like... It looks like the mayo globs at McDonald's, but it hardened. Freaking love McDonald's, though. Not often that we've got a sour candy that actually comes out real sour. If there was another grapefruit one, I would have given you that one. That one was a lot more sour. Yeah. I mean, the passion fruit one was, was nice and tart. A little upset we didn't get the black currant, though. I like yeah, that flavor. Yeah, yeah, that would have been better than grape. I'm just upset that they didn't put more than four in there. No, I hate when y'all put these little candies. Like, try all four flavors. You know people are trying these in groups, right? Not, Some people want to try each flavor. Groups. They don't know that. Look, like, last no, time it was the, just this one little boy in his <laughs> Most of the chair. advertisements, they're like, oh, oh try it with a friend. Try no, it. all their ads try are based like around date night. at like, least okay, being couples. But, with some of them advertise like, oh, like the, you know, the nuclear family having the two kids. It's like, so you're advertising this, but you're not supplying for it. Mm -hmm. Increase the supply. Literally just on the little candies. Everything else is clearly fine. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, so what did we say? Uh, oh, we didn't even rate that, really. We were just... Talk I'm about saying being weird. okay, I guess. No, I'm, I'm also going. Say, with I didn't okay, eat this I in guess. my life. I'm giving it a down because I would not eat those. Yeah. I'm going with okay. I, I don't have think like the flavor three is or worth four it. Before I started just going. The, the format the it came in. Oh yeah. The hardened glob it was weird. Could have been more like a starburst, and that would have probably made it better. That's what I was kind of expecting. Yeah. A little starburst like thing, but it was too sticky and melty. Shinken, and is that an umlaut over the A? I don't know how you do say an umlaut over the A. Is it just ah? It's the or, ah. Crispy, crunchy, and quintessentially German. For Germans, there's no such thing as too much ham and cheese. Typical breakfast, okay. eggs and ham and cheese. Typical lunch, sandwich ham and cheese. Dinner, you bet your sweet little German booty that it's ham and cheese with some kind of bread and in between these ham yeah. and cheese puffs ham and cheese. only makes sense that german's quintessential food pairing would also be the country's favorite snack flavor after all we're all ham and cheese green eggs and this green is milk. the strongest flavored chip mm -hmm. that they've put out in this My box goodness though it's really that good. really is a ham and cheese that is a yeah. powerful flavor yeah we've had other ham and cheese flavored things and uh these other people on the couch weren't able to taste it i I'm always use it for more this one it's has really a very good. strong mm -hmm. ham and cheese taste and this one doesn't feel stale yeah, yeah. It's like all three layers from the lunch. So I'm assuming uh -huh. this chip was just made right or something, because the other one they felt stale. This yep. one's fine. Yep. Uh, I I really like that. Me too. I would have, if left to my own devices, unsupervised, that whole bag would be gone, and I'd be you like out on the streets yeah, asking people for more. We got a cracker that was ham and cheese flavored. I can't remember what country it was, but that one I thought really tasted like the lunchable because mm -hmm. it was literally just a straight up yeah, cracker. cracker. I'm actually surprised that the ham and cheese is like kind of coming out on top for me right Can now. Can you read this inscription for me? It's some form of elvish. I can't read it. Nusprignaki magish. Is that a word? That's no. Really, it's the brand. I know it's the brand, but am I supposed to? No. I think it's chach. Cooks. Sweet cherry cookies, soft and buttery with luscious German cherry. Pro tip, if a giant offers you cherries, say no. That's, that's the whole paragraph. I mean, but how tall do you have to be to be considered a giant? Probably pretty tall because they're taller over there. Typically. Right, but like... Are we talking if, like eight, nine If feet? my dad offered your dad cherries, is he supposed to say no? Because <laughs> like, the ratio is there. You know what cookies like this remind me of? They remind me of that one Goosebumps this episode taste like soap too. where... Like, oh, the, they sure. turn into old ladies if they eat the cookies. That's what these cookies remind me of. I forgot about that one. That one scared me for a long time growing up, so I wouldn't watch it. That it smell does me of old ladies. remind me of Bath & Body Works. It's a soap cookie. By God, I'll finish it. Cherry's never been my favorite, but I like this one. Boy, will I ever enjoy cherry again? We had that cherry soda, didn't we? It was cherry, yeah. And that was good, because it was mm -hmm. real, real bitter. I think that that's what did it. A sweet cherry, it's not for me. Hopefully so, this next one is though. Um, I, I'm gonna say no on no, that one. No, I'm saying good. I liked it. I'm saying good too. I liked it too. Like the cookie part of it was amazing. No, it I was give kind of me thinking, any other kind of filling and I would have been fine. I was kind of thinking I probably would have preferred a different yeah. filling. Apple maybe. Yeah. Intense almond is. candy coated in chocolate. People in northern Germany are going nuts 
I love the wordplay in these things. They get me every time. They're, so They're going nuts for these nuts. They're so goofy. Oh, While the origin good. of this confection made from sugar, honey, and almond meal is widely debated. I'll take that. Many are quite the same credit which I see a Lubeck with a top container. Let's try this stuff to the almond and almond candy. Not bad. 10 out of 10. I don't care for marzipan. I think every candy we've gotten that has marzipan, I don't care for it too much. It's okay. I'll give it okay. I love it. I did not eat it in my life. You the onion like like queen that. says no. Together. Oh, you gotta do the other side too. That's what I'm doing. Okay. But then, like. Here, now you do just a foil over there and I do the punishment. And then we switch the sensations. That's and then, and then. You're welcome. <laughs> oh. Well, this could be really good or really bad. A taste of the black forest. You can't say that word. It's not Yoda. PC, buddy, but you said it. Close your eyes. And open your heart. Close your eyes. Believe in yourself. And imagine yourself surrounded. Oh my god! It's that golden ticket! By the darkest evergreens you've ever seen. The scent of pine fills your senses. And you hear the faint trickle of the Danube River in the distance. Take a piece of this chocolate and hold it to your nose. Are you smelling the plentiful wild berry bushes that dot the landscape? the children landscape? running in the river. They're lost in the river. You may as well be. All the rich fruit flavors even let them in smell. this chocolate are also found. Smell it. <laughs> you said smell it to the microphone. <laughs> to the ears. Yeah. Smell it in your ears. <laughs> so take a deep breath. Have another bite. And enjoy the hike. Um, um, if it was black, uh, not black forest. If it was dark chocolate. <laughs> if it was black forest. <laughs> if it was dark chocolate, I would have liked it a lot more. Dark chocolate would have worked. Uh, good with I think that. the fruit flavor is too sweet for how medium sweet the chocolate is. Mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. I needed some bitterness to balance it out. Mm. I'm just glad they didn't have that perfumey flavor like some of these <laughs> yeah, mixed, yeah, yeah, like sure. the mixed fruit ones do that a lot, yeah. where it just seems like perfume. And also, like, like potpourri. Let's just stop putting blueberries in stuff. I don't want them. I've never wanted them. I've never seen a blueberry. I don't want blueberries. I've never even been a blueberry. Very blue sis of you. <laughs> so, no? Or? I'm going with so-so. So -so. It would have been great. I actually it it could have been great, but okay. I'm going with okay. The reasons he didn't like it is part of why I liked it. Yeah. Because I liked the sweetness. Cause I, was, I did, yeah. We've gotten a lot of bitter no, chocolate and I, bars. I guarantee that there's a dark chocolate version of this out there. Oh, probably. And send it to me. They've please. given us dark chocolate ones filled with like single fruits, but not a mixed fruit like that. All right, next we got peanut buttery puffs. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter puffs. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Germany's favorite game time snack. Nothing is more popular in Germany than... This thing is full. Look at the... How do you pronounce that letter? Is that the Z sound? Is it foosball? Yeah. For them? AKA foosball. soccer. It's, it's the, more the one that looks like a, like a paper clip. Well, that and this yum. Erdnuss flips. Peanut flips. Are one of Germany's most popular snacks. The local go-to for soccer fans hmm. sitting back to back to watch their favorite teams. The key to their popularity? Their size. The bag is designed to last you through a 90-minute game. Even if you're likely nervous eating during overtime or if you're like us and can't help but eat them three at a time mm -hmm. or maybe you don't understand how overtime and stoppage time works in foosball israel had a very similar peanut snack in their box that one was more puffy from what i remember mm -hmm. kind of like a very soft cheeto puff like feeling this one's more crunchy i guess or crispy, whichever one's more appropriate. I mean, it's like having a um. It's a puffed up peanut. Yeah, it's the it's the Reese's cereal. Yeah. It's more salty than it is yeah. sweet. It, yeah. No. I'm saying okay. Well, I, I for sure like couldn't it. eat a bag of this for 90 minutes. I know I ate like five in a row without thinking about it, but I, that's just because I was trying to get a full vibe for how these little nuts are. I did word it like that on purpose. Gotta get that. Citron and creme chocolate. If you've gotten this far into the box, then you're likely thinking, wow, the Germans must really love chocolate. Oh my god, they love chocolate. Yeah. It just keeps going. 
And you'd be right. In fact, Germany consumes the second most chocolate in the world per capita behind only... Any guesses? Your crown fell off. China. I don't think he lets them have chocolate. <laughs> yes! Yes! That! Is this a chocolate hall of famer right here? Yes! I could eat that all day, every day. I just drooled a little. <laughs> it was so good, he drooled. Anyway, the number one answer was Switzerland. I was going to say it, but I was like, you know what? I'm I, I kept thinking the Swiss, but I was like, what's that country called? <laughs> you know those guys. I love that. Yeah, that was delicious. That, that is how you make a lemon chocolate. That, that's my, that's my that front runner good. for the best thing in the box so far. I don't know how I'm going to go back to living my life without that. I did enjoy that quite a bit, actually. That was good. Welcome to Germany. From rich, fluffy, and caramelly apple cakes to nut-filled caramel tarts to crispy <laughs> caramel-filled cookies, the Germans seem to have found nearly every possible way to Wait, perfect our favorite ingredient. One. Oh, I did the wrong one. Yeah, yeah this is the one. Oh, after. I was looking ahead. This is <laughs> the, that's the eggnog. Thought it couldn't get better. Here comes another chocolate-covered soft caramel with a touch of sea salt. Oh my God! Will the innovations after. never cease? Why did these open from the bottom? The other one did that too. You did not open that with your bottom. I do like it. Yeah. I like that flavor more, I think. It's really good. Than the it's original. Really good. I do like it. I'm hitting a point where like I've had too much candy and it's mm -hmm. too early in the day. So I know that I would like that. I would be really over the top about it later on. If it was like my first sweet thing of the day. I say it looks like there's only one. But it's candy like nine thirty and we've had eight candies. So delicious all of them. This one has mostly been <clears throat> candies. Like, now we have another candy, and I don't know how I'm going to do it. Like, I don't know <laughs> if I'm physically going to be able to swallow it. Every December, Germans from Munich to Hamburg are eagerly awaiting their first sip Eligible. of egg. Ingredients, sugar, uh, glucose, The German syrup, version of eggnog. Powder. While it may seem similar to Caramel traditional egg eggnog, liquor. one ingredient transforms the taste. This version uses egg yolks instead of the whole egg. The difference? A richer, creamier drink that per that's perfect for the holidays, but you don't have to wait for the holidays to enjoy this fudge. Prost! You know that Tool song, Und keine Eier, where the whole the words to this song is just him like describing. I think it's a recipe for cookies, but with, what? No, with no eggs. <laughs> and it's like these real nice heavy guitars and drums, and he just says Und keine Eier. <laughs> it's great. I like it. It's got a liqueur flavor up in there. Having all of these as my breakfast is not the ideal. I don't feel that great. We got power through it, babe. Yeah. I mean, I was gonna save this, but this no, was powering through. This was interesting. I, I would know. have liked the drink way more. Than I would say the, I, the, the candy. description of the drink is like I feel like I'd rather just drink it than than eat this. <sighs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it okay. I am gonna give it no good. The drink probably would have been amazing, but having it as a candy, yeah, not for me. At first glance, you might be thinking that this you is an orange right. soda, and you're very close to being right. This is actually a highly popular drink that blends soda with real orange juice. Hence the slogan, Cola Cused Orange. Cola Kisses Orange. That's adorable. Take a sip and you'll immediately taste the difference between this and your standard orange soda. It's no wonder the flavors are kissing because it's clearly a match made in heaven. This is a romance soda. I'm gonna give you all the... I had the spout the wrong way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> As I missed immediately. All right, there you go. This is so you could see it. That was literally the whole purpose of me getting that out. I'm ready to be kissed. Let me sip from the can. <clears throat> How fortunate it like perfectly missed every electronic piece I had over here. Uh, what's their word for cheers? Prost. Prost. I mean, I do get it exactly what the description says. It's like having a Coke if they made Coke orange. Is that cola and Fortnite? Yippee! It's not. It, yeah, it is just, it's it's a little kunst of, of orange. No, when I saw this, I just thought it was going to be an orange drink. I didn't read the little bit down here, because I was like, orange can. <laughs> Literally just think of like an orange Coke. This is probably yeah, what it would no, taste like. Like, if you had diet vanilla Coke, but instead of vanilla, it was orange, it's that. Now you know. Not the best soda we've got, but I kind of like it. I mean, I'd get, I'd get a case of them. It's kind of like not enough orange it's okay yeah it's a little too much of the cola flavor like the orange it's like it just kind of rubbed maybe by. we're so like sugared up right now though mm -hmm. i i we should save a little bit of it if possible and try to come back later once we've had a little palate cleanse and see i'm gonna uh, have to say okay though because i'd still prefer just well, a plain old cola i'm going with okay 
Oh, so we're all saying okay. Yeah. Um, the very last thing is just a tube of mustard. And I really want us to just, <laughs> just slurp mustard out. out of this tube because that would make that would make the video really good. <laughs> Mild good mustard. Bavarian mustard. If you like pretzels, sausages, or even just a simple sandwich, you are in for a treat. Bavaria is world famous for their unique take on mustard. So we went out of our way to make sure our super yum customers got to try it. Made from a special mixture of yellow and brown mustard seeds called Mittelscharf. Bavarian mustard is sharper, tangier, and all around tastier than your standard yellow bottle. Just one little taste will make you thankful we sprung for the Smell bigger it. tube. Oh, I'm here for that. Are we actually just stuck in this? I don't really give like me, mustard though. You want a finger like, toothpaste this? Yeah, yeah, I was thinking that. Boy, give me just like, like a hot dog with this. I can already tell. It's already. I can already tell that I'm gonna be happy. Uh, here we go. Bro, no, we're gonna make you taste it too. Yeah, I wanna put it. You, you can. Okay, fine. You can just water. I went it. to that first like line on my finger. You know where the yeah. knuckles gonna be. Yeah. Here yeah. we go. Prost, y'all. Prost. Oh yeah, that would go oh, really good yeah. on a hot dog. Yeah. I just don't like mustard. I don't. I used to hate mustard, but when I have it with ketchup or like on just an already really good like hot dog or hamburger, I like it now. I'm taking that with me to the state fair next year for all my corny dogs. I was gonna say we're gonna hold this for when we finally do some yep, some yep, hot dog. Yep, That's gonna yep. be good. It's a ten out of ten mustard. Would must again. Does it belong in the yum box? I guess mm -hmm. if that's what y'all are going for these days, okay. I mean, it had like a recipe in the back. We never of, tried the thing that we could. We never tried the, the soup. Was delicious? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say that was good. I think that's gonna be really good on this. Uh, like you said, some wieners. Time for our ratings. Weirdest. Uh, I mean, none of them were super weird. The ham and cheese corn puffs were weird at how accurate it was. How accurate to the that flavor yeah. was. Everything the, felt pretty normal this time around. Like sour fruit can. The onion rings. Well, not really the onion rings. Okay. I mean, they definitely aren't on theme the with the rest of the I'd box. say the weirdest, if not the ham and cheese, just for that flavor, are the gummies things yeah. that were goop. solid goop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that. Number six. All right, worst. Is there anything we all agreed on that we hated? I don't think um, there was. Hated the mustard. Oh. The onion ring was the worst. There's nothing we all gave hated. a frowny. That's because we could give it to number six. Because me and her, we both said no. Not no. now. No. No. <laughs> no. The other ones, it seemed like you had a lot that you didn't like that we said were okay. There were a lot of things like. in this box that I didn't like. Because you did, you said no to the cherry, the onion rings, and the eggnog candy. I'm okay with saying that six is. I guess we're gonna put six one. again. Uh, just let it be known that it's not gonna be favorite. We're not summoning anybody here. <laughs> all right, favorite. What did we all smile? Thirteen. The dark salt caramel. Lemon the lemon bar. Seven. The ham and cheese. Yeah, it's it's a tough four, pick between and the, the the lemon bar no, three is and the. Oh, okay. I was I was like, you literally wrote a. <laughs> yeah. And number one. Yeah, between the lemon bar and the ham and Seven. cheese crackers. Is the, is the tie for me. I think I want to give it to the ham and cheese. I want to give it a ham and cheese. Because I, really I was like really that. impressed with that initially, yeah. and nothing else gave me that same like hype I, after yeah. that. Yep, for sure. So that's number seven. seven. That's funny. <laughs> I'm gonna do, you kept saying seven, so I'm gonna insert Monica from Friends doing that one bit. Choo, choo, trivia train, here it goes. All right, number one. We're gonna get bean boozled if we fail. What do locals call the chancellor's office? In Berlin. A, the green room. B, the washing machine. C, the aquarium. D, the brain. I read the Britain for some reason. That made no sense. The brain seems logical, but I don't think they would ever say that about a politician anywhere. I'm going with B, the washing machine. I'm going to say the green room, because maybe it's just really green. I will say the brain. B, the washing machine. I was right. Yeah. Chancellor's office Ladies is dubbed the... Wash machine because of its Dirty. most Dirty. unusual Dirty. feature, Dirty. a huge Dirty. circular Dirty. glass window that looks like a washing machine door. It's going to be the wider one. Gerhard Schroeder, Chancellor from 98 yeah. to 2005, disliked the design, claiming people she would see his bathroom. Dishwater. And I got Juicy Pear or Booger? Ears. Down the hatch. I guess that's Booger. <laughs> you guess. It tastes weird. Like, it's a... I think it's also taking on the sweetness of some of the other jelly beans, so it doesn't even taste that it's gross. It's saturated. It's like I dropped like a cupcake in the grass and I still ate it. Mm -hmm. birthday cake. According to myth, what lies under the Kiffhauser Hills? A. A sleeping emperor who died in 1190. B. A golden ox that grants wishes. C. A pond of immortality. Or D. A road to the city of saints. 
I like the idea of a golden ox. Yeah, me too. I wanted to say that too. I guess you, are we all going in on B? I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a wrench in the gears and say C, a pond of immortality. I kind of just want to say all of them honestly, but I'm gonna go with the ox because that was the first one I thought of. Hey, legend ha has it that the 12th century Holy Roman Emperor Frederick I sleeps beneath these hills. I went with the fun answer and I paid the price. Uh, butter popcorn. This is one of the ones that'll genuinely upset me because I actually really like the buttered popcorn one. Toaster marshmallow or stink bug? Liver and onions or what did I say? Cappuccino. I got lucky. I got cappuccino. It made me cap crazy. When we did this last in Jacob, Jacob was very unfortunate. He got like everything wrong, so he had to keep going, and he kept getting like dead fish and crap. Like he oh, almost no. never got the good ones. I don't know. <laughs> At first, I thought it was stink bug, but then I kept chewing and. It didn't taste that no, bad. No, I think because the way these got mixed in, the of stinky all the stink bugs you normally eat got all the <laughs> cleanliness in here. I think I did get a stink bug though. I think I they feel got like the toasted marshmallow would have tasted better. They got sweetened down from the other ones somehow, which is better from the opposite we had last time. Okay, three. According to German tradition, which is bad luck? Shaking hands with the chimney sweep. That's just rude to workers. <laughs> Saying cheers while toasting with water. Tossing salt over your left shoulder or knocking on wood. I've heard of B. I'll say I've heard of the water thing. I don't know if it's German or not, but I'm going to go with B. All right, she's going to okay, say B. not only. All right, let's find out. I'll B. Find out. In Germany, saying Prost, cheers with water is bad luck. To understand why, we have to go back way, 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 way back to ancient Greece. Ancient Greeks toasted the dead with water to symbolize the journey through the underworld. I never thought I'd say this, but thank you, Hostel 2, for reminding me that little factoid we just watched that the other <laughs> night. <clears throat> All right, we got which game was invented in Germany? Don't answer that. Dominoes, Battleship, Chinese Checkers, Candyland. Is it Chinese Checkers? It has to be because it's it's such a misnomer, right? I w no, I started thinking that it could be Chinese Checkers because apparently we just love messing with like the idea of Chinese culture and just yeah. calling crap Chinese. So I'm going to go with that. No, I changed it. I'm saying Candyland just because. Well, it is C for Chinese Checkers. So believe it or not, Chinese checkers was actually invented in Germany in 1892. We'll the Based off a similar four-corner no, game called better. Halma, oh. the star-shaped version game. was originally called Sternhalma until it was brought to the U.S. in 1928 and marketed as Chinese checkers to keep up with the trending interest in Asian imports. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, which one did you get? Did you get the rotten egg or popcorn? I'm just trying not to react to any of these. <laughs> Number five, the Wunderland Kalkar amusement Kalkar. Park is uniquely located at a former concert hall, and the rest are just a awful. local dump, a nuclear power plant, an underwater greenhouse. So is it a normal building or something that had a lot of crap in it? <laughs> the underwater greenhouse sounds interesting, but I'm not sure what Kalkar is to help me guess that. I'm going with C, nuclear power plant. Yeah, I was going to go with C. I want to say D. It's C. Damn it. I just want to have fun. <laughs> is all that screaming from the roller coaster or the radiation? Just kidding. While the park was built at the site, Which it was supposed to be a nuclear plant. The one that could be plant. dead fish? That's the worst one. Oh. Strawberry banana smoothie. Or Local dead protests fish. caused the plans to be scrapped before the reactor was built. Oh, everybody should get this one right. Number six. Oh, thank God I swallowed it. I got dead fish. Ooh. The Autobahn Highway is unique because A, it has no speed limit, B, nobody has ever crashed on it, C, police don't patrol it, or D, it has a speed limit of 1,000 miles per hour. I don't think that's possible for any of the cars going there. I think it has no speed limit. It, I'm, it's A. Mm -hmm. I think technically there is a speed limit, but it's not 1,000 and it's not a normal number. Mm, excuse me. Let's find out. A. Welcome to one of the safest highways in the entire world where you can go 100 plus miles per hour for over 8,000 miles. Despite the fact that more than half of the road has no legal speed limit, the famous highway sees 26% fewer accidents. Excellent use of fewer instead of less. Thank you. Accidents than those with speed limits. While potential limits of 80 miles an hour have been proposed in the past, to this day those measures have never passed, so locals can continue to drive as quickly as they please. Number seven. After World War II, an American airman, delighted by the children of West Berlin... Oh wait, he delighted the children, not delighted by... <laughs> He's delighted by the children. Delighted the children of West Berlin by A, giving them each a Game Boy. That doesn't seem like the timeline adds up. I was like, that's not possible. Teaching them to play baseball. C, teaching them how to garden. D, airdropping candy from his plane. After World War II? Yeah. It's the after part that's going to be like, it could be ways after. He's like, 
You know what? I'm coming back. I'm going to back give Game Boy. to give them the Game Boy. Because I know during wartime, they airdrop stuff like that a lot. So I'm going to go with D. It's not D. It's probably going to be B, but I'm going to go D. I'm going to go with D, too. D. After Thank World God. War II, Berlin was split into two, with West Berlin controlled by the U.S., Britain, and France, and East Berlin controlled by Russia. And when the Russian government cut off land routes from West Berlin, the only way to bring in supplies was by plane. With the resources so limited, things like chocolate and candy became high-value commodities that could be, even be used as currency. That made all the more generous when Lieutenant Gail Halverson airdropped 23 tons of candy. Do you think Game Boy's put on there to mess with the kids? Oh, yeah. That, that are like five and barely know what a Game Boy is? Yeah. What's a Game Boy? It's like, Mom, don't toast a Game Boy. That's old like you. What <laughs> was dial-up internet? Okay, wait, number eight. Wait, yeah. when, when you said that they'd like drop the candy, I'm not imagining like, you know, where it's like they're flying by and the candy's like all falling like gracefully down. I'm imagining just like with giant like when, of candy when they fly down. over <laughs> the lake to drop the fish in it and the fish just come piling The lesser yeah. talked yeah. about nuke was the chocolate bomb over Berlin. Yeah, final round. We all get this one wrong. <laughs> Which of the following was invented in Germany? The steam engine, air conditioning microscopes the printing press I'm gonna go microscopes you forget your history my son i probably did is it the printing press i don't remember someone's gonna eat a bean i'm gonna know this and be pissed after. someone's gonna eat a bean you don't even know what to guess do you I, I i forgot what the answer choices were again so i'm just gonna go with b all right she says air conditioning. i'm gonna change that <laughs> I'm gonna change the A. But if you're a history buff, you'll know that the answer is D. It was the freaking You wouldn't be press. reading this booklet right now if it weren't for Johannes Gutenberg, who invented the printing press in 1436. I'm not doing that again. Johan! They're all named Johan. Birthday cake or There was someone water. on the trivia train last time. I want to get one of them. I want to get one of them. God. Can I just pick which color I want? Choo. Choo. I'm not doing the dead fish. They really want you to get dead fish. I'm not doing the booger again. Give me something that I didn't get. Okay, Rotten fine, I'll do that eggs. one. I got the dishwater or birthday cake. Sick. I got birthday cake last time with that one. If you notice me force swallow it, that's because I got the bad one. <laughs> Alright, I got peach or barf. How do they do the bad ones? Can you imagine being the, like, test people for these flavors? It's like, does that taste like a dead fish? <laughs> Not quite, but it's still gross. Okay, we're gonna do that again. It needs to be accurate. It can't just be disgusting. Good luck, onion queen. I'm gonna grab a blue for a cleanser. Oh, I got the berry. Nice. No, the blue one is berry or toothpaste. So oh, you're either so you're gonna really get something that tastes go good, or you're gonna clean up your mouth from the other crap you got earlier. I got barf, but it wasn't as terrible as it was last time. <laughs> from all the barf that you normally eat. <laughs> I hope that you all learned something today. I hope that you learned that eating a lot of candy and first, in the first thing in the morning <laughs> in the morning is not a good idea. I'm following with bean boozled is probably less. I hope that smart you learned that. Ketchup chips are hit and miss. But mostly, I hope that you learned that uh, we do this every month. And you should come back for more antics. I don't know what next month's going to be. And if you want to hear my voice, see my face in other places, I got two other channels. Three other channels. You're going to find them right here and here on the screen right now. And below, you're going to find the URL to our Patreon.com, where you can be a premium subscriber and get this content before anybody else. We got shirts, we got merch, we got a uh, new line of swimwear that we just released, <laughs> and just in time for the deep winter, your new, your new Shy Boy Eats swimwear. We also have some lumberjack themed lingerie just in time for the winter as well. So yep. go check that out. We've got a speedo that just says eats right on it. Subscribe. Smash that like button. <laughs> we didn't introduce ourselves or anything this time. You know who we are if you've been watching this. Goodbye, internet. Bye. We love you. See you next time. I, honestly, you're probably going to see us in a couple weeks because we did this one late. Shovel 606 eats. Going to need some more treats. We got to decide if they need or need the heat. See you again soon. Next time, bring a spoon. Put in the work and then get served. Go ahead, come on over. We'll go and get some boba. Some that's fried, some that's green, some that's chilled. Oh, dang, I think something spilled. All right, waiter, pass the bill. It's literally.